Historic flight to Cuba happening today, too, just days after Fidel Castro's death. American Airlines launching that first daily direct flight from Miami to Havana today. And Local 10 News reporter Ben Kennedy is live from Miami International Airport, where that flight took off and landed today. Ben. Good afternoon, Denise and Christy. Passengers I spoke to say they were very excited to be part of this historic flight. We were on the tarmac, heard the cheers, saw the pilot waving as the plane took off from right here behind me at the Miami International Airport. A water cannon salute marked the first commercial flight from Miami to Havana, Cuba. This is history. First time in over 50 years. It is very busy, a lot of activity, loud noises here on the tarmac. And in fact, you can see behind me, the pilots are now getting ready to pull away and take off. Sky 10 HD was overhead as the plane lifted off the ground, bound for the capital city. American Airlines has been flying to the communist island for more than two decades by way of charter service. The difference now is booking is made easy. I was kind of looking for the first flight to Cuba. Daniel Lewis is on this historic trip as an architect and plans to study Cuba's buildings and monuments, but did not expect to be there moments after the passing of Fidel Castro. I think it will be very interesting. Uh, you know, everybody knew that he was in ill health, that this was coming. I didn't expect it to be during our trip. There is still a ban for Americans visiting Cuba. Tourism is illegal. But there are 12 categories of authorized travel, which includes educational, religious, and humanitarian reasons. One. One. Yeah. But today's flight is one more step to restoring diplomatic relations with Cuba. It's been over five decades since we've had this kind of connection with Cuba into Havana directly. The plane did land safely in Havana, Cuba at 8.30 this morning. The next flight to Cuba takes off at 12.30 this afternoon from right here in Miami. Reporting live at the Miami International Airport, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.